I'm going to be doing my everyday looks that I've just kind of been wearing during the spring. First of all, for my hair, I usually just have in a little top knot. And then I just take some of this Garnier Curl Shaping Spray Gel. And I just put it kind of on my roots. And I just kind of like leave it sit there for a while until I'm done with my makeup. And then next, you don't want to have any primer on because we just want a smooth finish and we don't want our skin to be smooth because we just want it to be just a fresh start. What I do first is I don't conceal under my eyes because I like to look natural so you always want to look a little bit more white than you do naturally so I take one part covergirl natural Lux in the color that matches my skin the most closely and I just put a little tiny bit like that and then I take some white liquid makeup and I mix it with two parts of that like that. Then I just mix them together so it looks almost white but not too white. Like that. Put this all over my face with my fingers. You can see that it looks more natural when it's not blended in. And then just to look a little bit more tan, I have this blush that is like this. This is from Hard Candy. I'm just going to take this Duo Fiber brush from Walmart and I'm going to swirl these together and put it all over my face. And then I just take any old black eyeshadow. Uh, I'm going to use this one from the Naked 2 palette called Blackout. And I'm going to use the same brush again because for most things I use this brush. And I'm going to contour with that because I think that it works better than like a bronzer. Just like that. It might kind of look like sideburns, but I think people will think that it is more natural and you look really thin. Then for your eyebrows, I just take this color from Maybelline and it's called Tastefully Taupe. And I just take this blending brush and I use this for my eyebrows. Just to make them bigger because they're really small. And I like to bring them in a little bit. Not to the point of a unibrow, but just almost to that. Because I've been seeing a lot of girls on the runway this spring and I think that looks really cool. And you don't want to have them perfectly the same, so I'm just going to leave them like that. My friend Nicole X Cherry Boom 7 x showed me this look in one of her videos, and I thought that it would be absolutely perfect for spring. So I'm just going to take a black eyeliner, just make a circle under my eye like this and then just fill it in and it doesn't have to be filled in perfectly doesn't that look really awesome I've been getting a lot of compliments on this look lately and I think that some of my friends are going to start wearing this because they think it's really like fashion forward. And then, um, where did my glitter go? Oh. I'm just going to take this body glitter powder and 
put it everywhere because we all like to be really glittery and you want a little bit on your shirt too so that your shirt can be glittery and a little bit on your lips it's okay if the hair sticks to your lips because that just looks more natural and then for our lips I'm going to take this orange lipstick from Revlon it's called Siren and I'm just going to put this on my lips you want to make sure that it goes over your real lip to make your lips look bigger and it's okay if you kind of mess up on the outside cause it looks better that way and you can still just leave the hair there from the glitter brush and then I um, usually take some of this like color tattoo and this is in bed to the bronze then I just kind of wing it out like that and then I also kind of bring it into the hairline so it kind of looks like hair looks like your hair is part of your makeup isn't it so pretty oh, I'm so glad I'm finally doing this tutorial because everyone at school has been asking me to do one the last thing for my face I just take any old mascara and then I just kind of dot it on my eyelid just like that because we want to look natural and when you wear mascara it does that sometimes so it looks natural and the very last thing for perfume I'm going to use this Febreze Thai Dragon Fruit and just spray it in my hair and all over and now I smell like the Febreze, and everybody loves Febreze, so why don't you just spray Febreze on you? Because it smells really pretty. It smells like a like flower. And I think that I kind of also got this look inspired by Nicki Minaj. Don't we kind of look the same? Um, comment below and let me know what you guys think of the video. Bye! April Fool's!